Alright Pisces, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of April 25th through May 1st of 2021. So energy of the week, you have number 28, Victory. This is beautiful. We do have this huge super moon today and it's going to be about releasing something. Um, it is the full moon in Scorpio. It's the peak super moon. Um, this is going to be the closest moon to the earth this year. So this moon's going to affect you the most, Pisces. But it tells me that you are releasing some old way of doing something and you're not going to do it that way anymore you're starting a brand new chapter and you have a victory in this brand new chapter we are going to clarify we're going to use the numinous astro deck to clarify so we can see where is it that you are receiving this victory oh it's the eighth house intimacy so this can be about investments it can be about contracts this can be about sex, secrets, mysteries. This is inheritance. Um, it's about your Kundalini energy, stalking in the underworld. This is interesting. So make sure to look to see what is in your eighth house on your birth chart, Pisces. And I feel like this is the energy that you're going to have a victory. Let's see what challenges or obstacles you might face. What's something that might be getting in your way of this victory? What is it that you're going to have to overcome this week, Pisces? Oh, so you have the Four of Wands. So this can be about a union. Um, Pisces, the Four of Wands is the Twin Flame Union card. Um, but Four of Wands represents in tarot a strong, firm foundation. Um, stability. So, like, for example, if you're moving out into your new home and you're a couple moving out together, um, you could be struggling to... So here's just an example. You're a young couple. You move out on your own. Um, it's possible that now you have to get used to being that close to someone um, that maybe you were dating previously, but now you're living together. Um, but this is about like your, it's about a couple. It's about a relationship. Um, it's about like a romantic, it can be a romantic relationship, um, but it's about a union. These people have come together. They've joined together. Um, it's in your challenges or obstacles. So it could be telling me that maybe this is new um, and there's not like a firm understanding. Uh, the foundation isn't firm yet. Something like that. A lesson you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle, you have the tower. So the tower is something shocking, something surprises you. Um, you don't expect something. It's in your lessons already learned, but I feel like with this big super moon, these are things all we all of these zodiac signs I've done. I feel like this is something that is happening right now. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of tower moment where something shocks you or surprises you. This card always says uh, to be careful how you react many times all the time anytime something happens it's always going to work its way for good so whatever this tower moment is that happens this week especially with this big super moon i want to say try to remain calm pisces and try to just not overreact is what i'm getting outcome you have the four of swords so lay your swords down no arguing no fighting um, it's a time of healing and it's a time of rest all right, Pisces, we are going to clarify. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot. So what about this union is causing you a challenge or obstacle? Um, is it something to do with like a sexual relationship? Is it something to do with like a firm foundation? Um, being able to feel intimate in your own home? Something like that. It's the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is like a maternal person. Um, it can be like a motherly, like your mother. Um, but I'm not feeling like this union has to do with like a home situation, like mom, dad, kids. Um, I'm feeling like this union has to do with like a new couple, um, like a new. Uh, it's for example, the Ten of Cups has the happy home, happy family, and it shows like the couple and the two kids. This shows just the two people. Um, so I'm feeling like this is a very new union. Uh, maybe someone like just recently moved in together. Um, it's possible that like the maternal energy is going to help you with this union. Uh, maybe help you give you like a more firm foundation. Queen of Cups is about unconditional love. So I'm feeling like it's saying if this is your challenge or obstacle, whoever this person that you are with Pisces, 
loves you unconditionally and I feel like that is how um, even though it's a challenge or obstacle I feel like that's how you're gonna get through this this tower moment for the tower you have the page of Pentacles so especially if you just moved out on your own Pinnacles are your things, your material things. Um, it can be about a job, something like that, raise, pay, something like that. It's possible. So pages are young, new, very small, um, not at their fullest potential. And that could be what this tower moment is. Like, for example, you move out, you get your own home, and you realize all of a sudden that this home needs a lot of work. And maybe you don't have the money saved up to be able to do that. And I'm feeling like that's what this tower moment has to do with. For the Four of Swords, it's beautiful. There's the lovers. So clearly you're going to rest. Um, clearly you're going to lay your swords down. You're not going to argue. Um, the lovers is a soul bond. This is not a partnership. This is not like just two people. Um, so the Two of Cups is Cups are your love, and the Two of Cups is about two people partnering together, joining together. It can be about love. It can be about something that they love. It can be about caring for someone so much that you want to help that person or join forces with that person, something like that. The Lovers is different. The Lovers is a soul bond. Um, the Lovers can be a fork in the road. So it can be saying that when you lay these swords down, you could be deciding, do you want this union or do you want to be off on your own? I feel like that could be a choice for someone this week. Um, but I'm feeling like what's going to happen is the arguing is going to stop. The um, You're going to lay your... With the Four of Swords, I always get lay your swords down. Like, don't... Don't bring them up and argue and fight. I'm feeling like it's a time of rest. It's a time of healing. And this is what you're healing. This soul bond. This is beautiful, Pisces. We are going to do our Queen of the Moon Oracle for guidance. We'll do two of them. One at the beginning of the week and one at the end of the week. So when you're having trouble with this union, um, when you're having trouble feeling like maybe you're, you don't feel the unconditional love, something like that, this is the guidance card. Resilience. Resilience tells me you guys have been together for a minute. <laughs> resilience tells me whoever this person is, is not new to you. Um, you Resilience talks about, it's kind of like the Ten of Wands. This card reminds me of in the Rider Waite, the Ten of Wands. It's about stress, being tired, being exhausted, climbing this mountain, wondering like, are we ever going to get there? Something like that. This card talks about how everything that you're doing, everything you're going through, is making you stronger. It's making you wiser. You're going to use this later on in life. You have the blue moon. Expect the unexpected. Alright, so this tells me that something shocking with this tower is going to happen. Um, I feel like it can go both ways. It could be saying that these two people decide to go their separate ways. Um, it could be saying that these two people decide to um, join their forces and heal together. Um, but when it's when the blue moon, the expect the unexpected comes out, this tells me that spirit is going to do something to bring you this victory. Like you're getting some sort of help. Most likely because this tower moment has happened or happening and you're needing assistance. And I feel like that is where you're going to get this victory. All right, Pisces, we're going to end it with the Moonology Oracle. This is going to help with your thoughts and emotions with the cups and the wands. And I do feel like, the, especially the tower moment, the blue moon here i do feel like this is going to be an emotional week but you remember you're working towards this victory you're getting this victory in your eighth house make sure to see look on your birth chart to see what is in your eighth house it's a time to release negativity it's the full moon in scorpio adjustments are required i feel like that's a message for someone if something you're doing you need to adjust like just fine tune and your dreams need a practical plan so this is the full moon in taurus now we do have these full moons all popping out here we do have that pink super moon full moon in scorpio you're releasing an old way of doing something you're starting something brand new i feel like the issue is like maybe um, a brand new relationship, a brand new union, maybe not feeling secure, something like that. Um, not feeling safe, something like that. 
but I feel like you're releasing that this full moon. And if this is for a new couple or a young couple that's maybe just moved in together, maybe like just starting to build their firm foundation, understand that your dreams need a practical plan. All right. Pisces, I feel like this is going to be your guidance for the week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.